हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक ऑन माय चैनल टुडे वी विल लर्न हाउ टू सॉल्व फिजिक्स न्यूमेरिकल्स इन जस्ट फ्यू सेकंड्स और सम टेक्निक्स दैट इज रिलेटेड टू क्लास 11 12th फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री देन वी विल लर्न व्हाट टू डू एंड व्हाट नॉट टू डू व्हाइल परफॉर्मिंग द क्वेश्चंस एंड व्हाइल सॉल्विंग द न्यूमेरिकल्स बट बिफोर दैट आई विल शो यू फ्यू एग्जांपल्स सो दैट यू कैन रिलेट विद देम and understand the basics what i want to say or what i want to understand to you i pick up few examples from class 12th ncert physics and we will solve in this video or show you how to solve how you can solve these questions question first is find the electric field at a point a due to charge q the charge is 0.4 coulomb at 0.05 meter from that point what we have to find out in this question we have to find out the value of electric field at a point and the charge q that is given into this question is 0.4 coulomb which is at a distance of 0.05 meter from that point first we will write what is given into this question then what we have to find out and use this formula so the given is the value of q that is 0.4 coulomb the value of r that is 0.05 meter what we have to find out we have to find out the value of electric field that is e now the formula of electric field is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r square this is the required formula which we have used into this question what is the value of 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught the value is 9 into 10 power 9 we can simply put this value into this formula if we know the value otherwise we can't able to solve this question easily so what we have to done we have to learn all the values that we can easily put into the formula and the value of q is 0.4 coulomb the value of r is 0.05 whole square now what i do into this separate out the value 9 into 0.4 and the value that is into the power of 10 keep them a side this is 0.05 into 0.05 9 into 4 upon 5 into 5 into 10 power this will subtract from it and we get 10 power 8 here we get 10 power minus 2 minus 2 that is minus 4 so it can be written as 9 into 4 into 10 power 8 and it will add up as it go into the numerator 10 power 12 5 into 5 is 25 now what we do 9 into 4 and then divide it by 25 but i will not do like that as we know that 25 into 4 is 100 so i will multiply by 4 into both numerator and denominator to solve the question easily here 4 into 4 is 16 and 9 into 16 is 144 into 10 power 12 and 25 into 4 is 100 then this will equal to 144 into 10 power 10 this will get subtracted this is the value newton per coulomb this is the required answer so you learn how easily i solve this question without any multiply or divide just a simple multiply or divide use you can also do like that and 
now the second question of this this is two point charges each of 5 mu coulomb the charge is 5 mu coulomb but opposite in sign if we have two point charges having same magnitude but opposite signs and separated by a distance then what this form it form a dipole this is plus q charge and this is minus q charge separated by a small distance opposite in sign are palace 4 cm apart they are separated by a distance of 4 cm calculate the electric field intensity at a point distance 4 cm from the midpoint on the axial line of the dipole what this question says it is given that we have a dipole of plus q and minus q charge that is separated by a distance of 2a that is equal to 4 cm and we have to find the value of electric field intensity at a point 4 cm from the midpoint suppose this is the midpoint O and this is the point P at which we have to find out the electric field intensity and this point is 4 cm apart from the midpoint of the dipole you can solve the question if you have the approach like that you have to understand first that what is the question want to say what you have to find out we have to find out the value of electric field that is at the actual point now we can easily solve this question first we have to write out what is given into this question the given is q is 5 mu coulomb and 1 mu is equal to 10 power minus 6 so this will equal to 5 into 10 power minus 6 coulomb and then the value of 2a is 4 centimeter convert it into meter 0.04 meter this is the value of 2a the value of a is divided by 2 0.02 meter and the value of r r is the distance that is from the midpoint r is 4 centimeter convert it also into meter that will equal to 0.04 meter we have to find out the value of electric field intensity now apply the formula of electric field intensity at an actual point that will equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught 2 pr upon r square minus a square and then whole square this is the formula of electric field at an actual point now put all the values into this formula and you can solve this question easily the value of 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 into 10 power 9 2 into p is equal to 2 a q and the value of p is 2 into the value of 2a is 0.04 meter we can put it simply 0.04 into and q is 5 into 10 power minus 6 0.04 into 5 into 10 power minus 6 and the value of r sorry there is no palace so i will do this question at here 9 into 10 power 9 into 2 into 0 0.04 into 5 into 10 power minus 6 and the value of r is that is 0 0.04 and then r square minus a square r square is 0 0.04 square minus a square is 0 0.02 square and then whole square Now, how to solve this part? As you can see that it is a large multiple or divide. First, separate out the values that is 9 to 0 0.045 and 10 powers. 9 into 2 into 0 0.04 
into 5 into 0 0.04 upon 0 0.04 minus 0 0.02 and here we get 10 power 9 into 10 power minus 6 10 power 9 minus 6 that will equal to 10 power 3 5 into 2 is equal to 10 9 into 10 into 0 0.04 into 0 0.04 upon we can write it as 4 into 10 power minus 2 whole square minus 2 into 10 power minus 2 whole square and then whole square of this complete. Then we can write it as 9 into 4 into 4 into 10 power minus 2 10 power minus 2 that is equal to 10 power minus 4 and 10 into 10 power 3 that is also equal to 10 power 4 both will get add and cancel out so we get 10 power 0 that is equal to 1 here we get only 1 it is written as 4 into 4 16 minus 2 into 2 4 and we put it outside that is 10 power minus 4 and whole square of it 10 power minus 4 whole square also the whole square of this it is written as 9 into 4 into 4 upon 16 minus 4 is 12 12 into 12 and this will go into the numerator 10 power minus 8 will equal to 10 power 8 4 into 3 4 into 3 equal to 12 3 into 3 and 3 into 1 that is equal to 3 so we get only 10 power 8 newton per coulomb this is the required answer of the question number second so the whole part equal to 10 power 8 newton per coulomb you can see that how easily i solve this question you can also solve this question in just few seconds of few minutes if you know the techniques to solve the questions easily now we will learn what to do or what not to do while performing the physics questions or the chemistry numericals first you have to understand the question what is given into that question what you have to be find out into that question Use appropriate formula. If you have to find out the elliptic field at an actual point, then you have to use only that formula. You can't use the formula of the elliptic field at the equatorial point or any other formula. It can lead your answer wrong. Solve by simple method. You have to use simple methods or simple techniques to solve the questions. If you want to solve the question by multiplying and dividing the large numbers, then you can it can consume a large time or waste your time so you have to use simple method methods or the simple techniques and you have to use also the board mass formula if you use the wrong method to solve the question then your answer will be wrong what not to do while solving the physics numericals solving question without complete reading if you want to solve the question in a right way then first read the complete question and then go to the solution of this question otherwise it may lead wrong answer using inappropriate techniques of board mass if you are using inappropriate technique that first we have to multiply the question but uh, you are using the subtracting and other methods can affect your mark sheet or marks into the mark sheet while examinations so I think I hope this video will be helpful for you to learn the techniques or the methods to solve the questions easy. Thank you for watching the video. Like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.